Every breakup sucks. While some are worse than others, they all affect us in one form or another. Whether it was an amicable or fury-induced split, we'll provide you with solid tips on how to get over your ex. 1. Cut off contact, at least for a while. Whether you're the dumper or the dumpy, it's not healthy to keep tabs on your ex once the relationship is over. You might want to be mature and remain on friendly terms with your ex, but you won't give yourself enough time to heal from the breakup. Tell your ex that you'll need space for a while. You should also consider trimming them from your social media feeds by unfollowing or muting their activity to prevent potential instances of jealousy, nostalgia, or targeted passive aggression. 2. Take up a new hobby. Being newly single doesn't have to be a bad thing. When you're in a relationship, you have less time for yourself since much of it is devoted to your partner. On the other hand, when you're single, you can get to know yourself more intimately. You're free to discover your interests and dedicate your time to whatever you want. Is there a particular class or hobby that you've always wanted to participate in? Perhaps it's animation, painting, puzzles, gardening, sports, a book club, or even the theater. The possibilities are endless. Learning a new skill and acquiring a new purpose will boost your self-esteem and independence. 3. Pamper yourself. Indulge yourself in junk food and sappy movies since your ex won't be there to treat you anymore. Take a vacation. Take a week or a weekend to relax somewhere with your friends. Take a spa day and rid yourself of the daily stresses that pile on top of your relationship loss. 4. Be real with yourself. Use your time alone to reflect on your relationship before the breakup. Though you may have positive memories of your partner and the time you spent together, it is important to remember that there were problems that inevitably drove you two apart. While you might want to fix things, accept that the two of you might simply be incompatible and that breaking up was the best course of action in the long run. 5. Vent to your loved ones. It is important to have a decent support system to help you through a breakup. When you're feeling angry or hurt, your friends can justify your feelings and remind you that you're not alone. They might even share some of their own illuminating experiences. Additionally, research shows that merely verbalizing your feelings can make negative emotions less intense. 6. Listen to sad music. During a breakup, your brain is actually attracted to sad music. When an artist you've never met can articulate your exact thoughts and feelings through words and sounds, it's proof that you're not alone. You're a human, sharing in a human experience. Moreover, a recent study has found that sad songs can actually elicit peacefulness in the listener. It can also make us cry, which can be cathartic and mood-boosting. So, go ahead and listen to that breakup playlist on repeat. 7. Accept the past. If your breakup was less than amicable, you might be harboring some regret and hostility towards your ex. Allow yourself the time necessary to grieve, but be careful not to let it consume your identity. Emotional grudges not only contribute to feelings of depression and anxiety, but they will negatively impact your future relationships. Forgive your ex, forgive yourself, and move on. 8. It's okay to still love your ex. The worst part of a breakup is the dissonance from hurting over your ex's actions, yet hurting that they're gone. Breaking up doesn't mean that the love between you is completely dead. Whether it's been a few years or a few months, the two of you made memories together and played significant roles in each other's lives. Unfortunately, love just isn't enough, and there are many things that factor into making a relationship work. Understand that love sometimes means wanting the best for each other, and sometimes that means breaking up. 9. Feel good about the rebound a 2014 study found that people who rebounded with a new partner after a breakup reported a better sense of well-being than those who stayed single for long periods of time afterwards. However, the rebounds in this study happened approximately 7 months after their first breakup. Therefore, while it's important for you to heal before moving on, stay open to new possibilities. 
Don't turn away a new chance at love because you're hung up on your ex. Breakups are always hard, but they aren't impossible to get through. You can do it! Do you have any tips to share that aren't on this list? Feel free to share them by writing in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching!